this is Diana with Artfully Yours and welcome. So I'm starting off with a box that's just wrapped with brown craft paper. And here I'm showing you the poster board, um, how I folded and drew the trees. I That is not folded exactly in half, it's folded so like two thirds of it is um, folded over because it's a rectangle box see like that see that, that I'm trying to explain that that I folded it two-thirds in half and one-third was a single sheet so it was symmet it's symmetrical two-thirds of it symmetrical except for that one tree and then um, I'm using white acrylic paint there and now I've laid down the tree design and I'm about to spray it with this Tattered Angels brand a glimmer mist in the, the color of pearl and it does create a glimmer so I'm spraying it on right now and I suggest uh, maybe three, three coats and drying in between and now I'm showing you finished results right there but I suggest three coats and drying in between each coat. It's really nice. That's a really nice glimmer effect. Now I'm using Extreme Glitter Mod Podge. And I'm, I'm using this as a sealer layer. And um, it could be matte if that's what you prefer. Um, but yeah, I needed that so that the, the, paint, the paint drips don't soak into the paper. So the next step, um, this is Tattered Angels brand white chalk, or the color I think is just called chalk. And instead of spraying it on, that didn't doesn't work good for drips. I'm using a dropper, and I unscrew the the misting top, and use a dropper that I have for dropping on the Tattered Angels chalk glimmer mist so it, it was a little hard to control the drips as you can see they dripped on the top of the box which they're not supposed to but it, it doesn't really matter And you do need two layers, two to three coats of this also. So I dry the, I let the dri the drips dry kind of on their own because if, if you use a the heat, if you, if you use the hair dryer, that's going to move your drips around. So let it dry as much as possible on its own. Then and then I finish up with the dryer. But then uh, it that color was still too light so it needed uh, two to three more layers of two to three more layers of drips and dry dry it in between layers So here, these trees, I'm trying to show you how I attach them to the top of the box. I've cut a slit. I've cut a slit there at the bottom and then folded, folded the, the bottom like tabs so they can become tabs to put the, the glue on.
So I'm putting the tacky glue on. So this idea for 3D gift wrap kind of came from a challenge that um, me and Kylie Koo run a face group, an, a Facebook group, and our our December challenge we I came up with the idea of um, well we both were brainstorming and and came up with the idea of like oh yeah how about three-dimensional gift wrapping and tags. That's something I, I've actually never seen before. I even was trying to look it up on Pinterest and really didn't find many ideas. So I really think this is a unique idea, especially this winter wonderland scene on the top of the box. Whenever I come up with some unique idea, I'm just so, so excited. A lot of times I get inspiration from other ideas and it's kind of like, yeah, putting your own twist on an idea that you've seen somewhere else, but this one is like totally unique and I, I was so proud to do this. So trying to decide the arrangement because I need to leave the right amount of space for the 3D tag that's going on it. So I'm happy with how it's looking. Next step is the cotton for snow. And just ripping apart the cotton balls, tearing them apart. And I'm not going to cover the whole top of the box with cotton snow. Just like up against the bottom of the trees. Is mainly is only the only place I'm putting the, the cotton snow. But this was a challenge. We decided to do this as a challenge for December challenge in our Facebook group. I'll link that Facebook group down below it's for any artist, any crafter or artist. We inviting. It's a new group that we've started and. Um, we invite any crafter or artist at any level, beginner to more advanced, um, to join us. And our December challenge was three-dimensional gift, gift wrap and gift tags. So any member that wanted to respond to that challenge, they did. And we had a few members responding to that challenge and and had... and. They came up with some really good ideas. So in January, we'll have a new challenge. Now I'm gonna cut snowflakes, and I don't need those four I mean, pieces of paper, I just only need three. But I took one eight and a half by 11 sheet and cut it into four, and then made them into three squares and then folded them into triangles so it's a simple it's just a simple it's probably the most basic way you could make a snowflake but I'm going to be turning I'm going to be gluing the three snowflakes together in a certain way to make it a, a three-dimensional snowflake gift tag with a ribbon.
so I've glued the three snowflakes together. If you can understand, I, I, did, I didn't show you on camera exactly how I did it, but if you can kind of um, get the idea by looking at that, I think you could figure it out. And now I'm gonna run this ribbon through the top and make a bow. But I hope this video inspires you to um, create unique, your own unique gift wrapping. And if you'd like to copy my idea, that's fine. Or create your own unique 3D gift wrap and 3D gift tags. And now this is a shot outside, and it was our first snowfall, actually. It just snowed early this morning on December 17th, and it's our very first snowfall for the season. So I thought this would be a great backdrop for this um, final photography video shot. So thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe. I really love um, reading your comments. And for those returning subscribers, thank you so much for being loyal fans. I appreciate it so much. Uh, that's one of my last videos. Another three-dimensional gift tag there. I mean, three-dimensional gift wrap.